Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my February monthly plan with me. Um, and I am using this kit called Birthday Babe from Pink Planner Shop. It is a printable kit. If you do buy it, um, it will not look like this. I do the crop method. So I'm only printing and cutting what I am going uh, to use to save ink and paper. So do not fret if it looks a little like i don't know funky i guess <laughs> because that's just me doing that um but yeah i love this art i feel almost like a broken record because i just got done filming my um my what do you call it uh my february kit lineup i filmed it well i technically filmed it two days ago and i uploaded it yesterday well real time for me yesterday um it is currently saturday what is it saturday the fourth wow it's already the we're already four days into february holy cow so yeah it's saturday the fourth so we just got over in texas a ice storm so that was a lot of fun. Alondra had no school. Well, okay. I'm going to just talk about school and then I'll talk about her personally because her, her school journey has been different. But so she had no school. Um, like school was closed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So school was closed for four days. And technically they only had school on Monday. But Alondra has been out of school because she had the stomach bug. So she has not been in school since, like this was the last day that she was in school, the 26th. So she was supposed to go to school the 27th, but that night, Thursday night, is when the stomach bug happened. So obviously we kept her home. And poor thing, we had so much going on like that Friday through the weekend. My mom was in town. She came to town Thursday. Oh, so it's just, it was not a good time. Like, I mean, is it ever a good time to get a stomach bug? No, but it just was like terrible timing as far as, like, I feel like we usually don't have too much going on, but then of course, when my mom comes to town and we actually have a lot going on and planned, you know, she gets sick with the stomach bug. I, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about um, or what, like understand what I'm trying to say. It just, it sucked big time. Um, thankfully though, she is a lot better, but we did keep her home on Monday as well, just to be safe because she's like on Sunday, she wasn't even eating. And I was just like, man, I really don't want to send her to school if she's not even eating. That is not all the way on. Um, so I just didn't, yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable sending her to school and she still hadn't eaten. And I was like, no, she's gonna be like so weak. And yeah, so just to play it safe, we kept her home Monday. So homegirl has been out of school <laughs> for the longest time. So I'm sure on Monday when school goes back, cause I mean, everything's good now weather-wise and health-wise, she's good. Oh, I love that. That is so stinking cute. Um, yeah, I'm sure she's just like itching to go back and she's ready. I would, well, I would assume she's ready anyways. Um, all right, I'm gonna move this over. But yeah, that was a bummer last weekend for sure because she had um, missed the 100th day of school. So she missed that and then that was on that Friday. And then she also earned a party bus. Does this go? This is gonna have to layer. Hmm, I usually don't have to layer. I wonder why I'm, did I layer last month? I don't know, maybe I did. Um, maybe I'm making these. Oh, you know what? I think I changed the dimensions on these. So obviously I changed them on accident. Um, but yeah, so she missed the 100th day of school and it was like a movie day in her class. So she was like sad about that. 
And then also she earned a party bus from a fundraiser. If you sold so many items, you got to go on a party bus and the party bus took you to CeCe's Pizza. And she um, earned it last year and she earned it this year. So she was so excited for this party bus because you know, she obviously knows what it's all about since she did earn it last year. Um, and so she was crying so much and I felt terrible. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it just sucks that of course, like that's the day that they do the party bus. And so she missed, she's like missing it. And she was just uh, devastated. And then Saturday, and then also to my mom was in town. So that was like, oh, bummer. But then Saturday, or was it Friday? Oh, Friday night, she also had a cookie booth. So she missed the cookie booth. Um, and then Saturday, the next day, she had a Girl Scouts field trip. Um, so she missed the field trip. And then, okay, this needs to go on top. All right. So she missed the field trip, which she was very sad about. And then she also had two cookie booths on that Saturday. And she obviously missed all of those. So my poor, poor, poor baby. Like, she was definitely upset about missing everything. Like, she was just devastated about it. So I just, I felt so bad. Because, you know, you just want your baby to, you know, be able to do everything. Oh, I know. It, well, obviously I felt bad for several reasons because number one, my baby was sick with the freaking stomach bug. I was just like, I'll take the stomach bug from you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want her to be sick. But then the fact that she was sick and then missing all of these fun activities just broke my mama heart even more so. Um, where is, oh, here it is. But thankfully, she is doing a lot better. Um, and yeah, she's definitely ready to go like back to school. Hold on two seconds, need a little coffee break. I know that was so dangerous. That is my first sip of coffee and it is 8.35 in the morning. Craziness, I know. Okay, we're almost done with the base here. Just need to put down Z numbers. I'm curious, do any of you all still do monthlies not even like and i'm not even asking like if you do it as like plan with me like you film them but just just like anybody still just like put monthlies in their like planner like do you plan them do you do them very very curious um because obviously i do i can't live without like a monthly like if i don't have a monthly i just feel very lost and I mean, I do put everything in my notes to like try to remember like shit that happened, you know what I mean? Like throughout my day. But when I was like not doing, I didn't do any planning like after Emilio was born. So I didn't do a, a monthly September, October, November or December. And I literally felt so lost. I was like so frantic, like, am I gonna miss the bill? Am I gonna miss an event or something? Like I just, was not all there and then also like i had a newborn so i really wasn't all there so I, it's so nice to have my monthlies back because i desperately need them um but yeah so i'm just curious because i feel like at least with like plan with me wise people don't film them anymore so i'm curious do you guys even care to see monthly plan with me's i I love them. I like doing them. Um, but if you guys don't really care to see them, then I can stop filming them. So be honest, you won't hurt my feelings. I mean, but here's the thing though. If you're commenting right now, then that obviously means that you are, you're watching it. So maybe that's, I don't know. Maybe I should put the question on Instagram. But I feel like on Instagram, like, you get only like 10% of people that actually respond. So like people will like see your Instagram story, but they won't respond to like the question that you're asking in the story. So 
IDK might be a fuck job. But, I mean, I guess I shouldn't care, right? If I enjoy doing it and I don't mind taking the time out of my day to obviously film it, to talk to you guys, to edit and upload, then just do it, right? That's how I feel. <clears throat> so. Oops, dropped my number, my number four. Fun fact, I was supposed to be born on February 4th. I was supposed to be born today. Today should what is like my due or my mom's due date, I guess. The due date of my life is <gasps> Oh my god, I thought I was trying to get a like a random sh like hair off of myself and I thought I threw the number 2 like off of me, so I got very scared. I also hope I didn't fix the focusing on the camera. So, like, I didn't, on my February kit lineup, I was telling you guys, like, I need to watch a YouTube tutorial and figure out the settings so, like, that way it doesn't go in and out of focus. I have not done that. So, I'm hoping, because I honestly, I'm looking at the viewfinder now and everything looks in focus, but that was my first time looking at the viewfinder. So, I really hope shit was good. Uh-oh. I hear someone. Hi, baby. Hello. Hi, baby. Oh my God, both of my babies are awake. Holy cow. I was calling you. Oh, I'm sorry, I was filming. Okay, I am back. Um, My little babies woke up. So, I think I had finished the base completely, which is perfect. Now, we just need to go into the day by day. I'm trying to think if I should just do like all bills first because I, I don't usually do all bills first. Um, trying to debate. Do I want to do all bills first and then do events? Hmm. Well, let's zoom in first because obviously I want you guys to see. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, that's the wrong way, Brittany. Okay. So I have a bill. Well, I have two bills technically on the first. Which already passed, but. And these are set bills that we have. So it was our mortgage and then my husband's credit card. So those two bills are done -zo. Then on the second, another bill that is our Costco credit card. Ooh. Um, and then yeah, honestly, we don't have I don't have anything to mark. I mean, I could mark that we have a cookie booth today and then we have two on Sunday. So I could mark those. I didn't do that for January though, which Honestly, though, like the Januarys were just so full, so that's why I didn't mark them. Um, so I don't know. I guess I could come back. Oh, see, now we're going blurry. I was moving way too fast for it. Oh, come on, come back. Baby, come back. Okay, I think it's better, hopefully. Um, so I'm not going to mark them, but I might come back and mark them. I don't have a lot going on in February, so... I feel like I should though, right? Cause they're events and such, but I don't have them like written down here. So that's why. Um, this is just like a perpetual calendar that you get from Erin Condren. And I love this thing. I use it all the time. Um, and then on the sixth, that is our Cairo bill. That just gets paid automatically. Cairo as in chiropractor. Um, so that comes out on the sixth every month. And then you don't have anything until the 9th. February is definitely a more laid back month for us, for sure. Um, and then on that, we have flea meds. So I will use a green for that to mark flea meds for. Little Miss Wiggles, she got a bath yesterday, which was much needed. Um, 
sorry, I gotta go through my stickers here. My wiggle stickers. Um, yeah, she got the works yesterday. One of our neighbors, um, she used to be a vet tech. So she used to just do wiggles as nails. But now she will come ever since I got, well, ever since like the last like month of my pregnancy, just like to be sweet, she took wiggles, like did like her bath, her nails, her anal glands. She cleans her ears and like everything. And for all $25 too. So I was just like, heck to the yes. Like it was awesome. It's so sweet that she does that. So she still does that because you know, I had my C-section, so I just was like not wanting to like get down and do those things. Um, oh shoot, hold on. I need to think what kind of box do I wanna use? Cause I have two of these squared boxes and I wanna use them. I like to use these like squared box for like bigger events. And then obviously I use like these big ones. Um, of course, I don't have a lot going on in February, but I feel like I have bigger events going on in February. So I want to use a squared box for that and for that. Oh, I didn't I don't even have it written down. Oh my god, let me write this down. Okay. All right, so then for the, so on the 10th, I have a bill due, that's just our water bill. But at school, they do have a Valentine's party. So I want to mark that. And the school changed it, which I ran out of memory on my memory card, um, so it cut me off. But I'm just gonna use this party hat. That is deco from Pink Pencil, I think. Like, you know, she does Andrea's Deco, SPC, Carly Plans Deco. Um, but yeah, so she is allowing her stuff to be printables now. So Seep from Pink Planner Shop. She didn't get all of them, but she got those. So if you're looking for them, pick them up. But yeah, so that is her Valentine's party on the 10th. Then we don't have anything until the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. So I will go ahead and mark that. Um, I think I'll just use one of these boxes, which is fine. I'm trying to decide what color I want. I think I'm gonna bring some orange over here. There's a lot of orange over there. So I'll put that in. I did print this Ramona and Friends, which is no longer a printable shop. Unless she came back, let me know. Obviously the red doesn't match, but Valentine's Day has a heart. So we're making an exception. And then moving on to the 16th, I do have one bill due. So let me go ahead and put that in. That is our energy bill. I don't know if you guys care to know what bills they are, but. I'm telling you anyways. Okay, so that's our, hello, thank you, energy bill. Then on the 17th, we have two bills. We are very lucky for that, aren't we? <laughs> Not really, but. Um, so I guess I'll use the green and the orange. So this is our, or my credit card. And then our phone bill. I hear Emilio talking, he sounds so cute. Um, Okay, and then on the 18th, oh, let me scoot you over. I want one of those squared boxes. I'm going to use a purple one. And this is the Daddy Daughter Dance. So, I'm so excited for this for Alondra. I need, um, oh, she doesn't even know about this, so I need to actually shut my mouth 
Yama's gonna do like a little surprise. Um, and we kind of have the surprise. Like he just needs to get one thing to like finish the surprise. So, um, <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. So anyways, um, but yeah, it's this night. So, which I guess he needs to do it soon because that's in two weeks. So, yeah, he's going to need to do that that soon. I wish this guy had a beard. He does not, but it is okay. This is just from Scribble Prince Co. These are no longer in her shop. Um, I actually got them from her Scribble Prince Co. party and like because they had like a bunch of like de-stash stuff. So, I took them and Kirsten actually made me take the father and son ones, which are right here. And I was like, no, I'm not going to take them. Oh, they're miscut. I see. Uh, that'll be fine. So anyway, she like, she's like, just take them, just take them. And I'm like, no, like I don't even have a son. Like, why would I take them? And I'm so glad she forced me to take them because she was looking out for my future self. Um, okay, so on the 19th, it is my birthday, and I do not, I need to buy, like, birthday stickers because I do not have any. So I, um, was originally going to use this weekly as my birthday weekly, but I changed my mind once I saw the Darcy art. If you watch my February kit lineup, then you already know what I'm using. Um, so I, yeah, I just changed my mind. So what I decided to do was just use the deco to decorate my, my birthday box, like the, de like the deco from the kit. So that's what I'm doing. Do I love that? Um, not so much, but like we committed and that's what we're staying with. So all good in the hood. Um, okay. So that is the 19th. Then on the 20th, there is no school, but I do have technically a bill due on my birthday, but I didn't want to mark it on my birthday because that's boring. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to Put the two bills here instead they are automatic bills so i'm not even tripping about it like they they'll get taken out um automatically words are escaping me so <clears throat> actually wait no one's on the 20th one's on the 20th let me put the 21st here there we go um so the one on the 19th i'm just moving it to the 20th and like I said, it gets paid out automatically, so it doesn't truly matter. Um, and then something, oh yeah, on the 20th, there is no school. So I want to go ahead and mark that. And I will do, oh, Shiza. I already used the orange. I guess I could use one of these labels, right? Maybe one, two, no, I want to use this. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me pop this off. This is why you don't do things in advance, I guess. Okay, take this for the no school. I'm gonna move this now. Sorry guys. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put an orange bill due. That way there's not like orange and orange. I know. Okay. So for the no school, I'm gonna use the purple doesn't necessarily match, but that's just what we're rolling with. This is a printable from Plan for Happy. So that is no school because of President's Day. So there, that is down. Then 
That's my car insurance bill. This is our home security bill. And then on the 22nd, good Lord, I got a lot going on. Um, so on the 22nd, this is going to be, there's always like a week or a section that is super busy. Clearly it's at like, it's going to be like this month. Um, but the 22nd, I do have, um, an OB appointment. So that is for, well, I, I don't know if I'm getting a pap smear because I technically got a pap smear when I was pregnant in January of last year and it did come back normal. So I don't know if I'm getting a pap or it's just like to double check everything because even though of a pap smear, which I did not know this, but if your pap smear comes back like, not neg, did I say negative? It came back negative. Oh my God, it came back um, normal, not abnormal. If it comes back abnormal, then you have to go you know, get it checked out again. But if it comes back normal, I guess you don't have to get it done for like two years or three years. I don't know, I feel like that, like, oh my God, that truck was out. I feel like that changes all the time, the information on that. But my midwife always says to like, you should still do like the yearly well checks because they still check your boobs and they like check other things. So any hoozy, that is my exam on the 22nd love that for me then on the 24th it is early release day from school and alondra is having a writing competition which is just so freaking exciting so uh what do i want to use i will use do 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 how many okay so I will use a smaller box. I'm gonna use the small pink one here for the early release. I will put it this way maybe. So that way the big squared box will fit. And I'm just gonna use an alarm clock to mark early release. I feel like that makes sense. So that's what we're doing. And then I have this, which will hopefully fit. Yeah, it just like barely fits in there. And I'm going to use this girl. Let me scoot you over. Um, so Alondra, they're having an early release from her school because her school is in a writing competition, or in a competition, right? Um, it's a school competition and they compete against all the other elementary schools um, in our district. And Alondra is on the writing team for her school, which is so exciting. So she actually goes to school really early on one of the days. Um, so like they can practice and the competition is on the 24th. So that's why they have the early release is because of the competition. So I'm so stoked about it. I still need to find out if they are going to allow, I mean, I would assume they would allow parents to the competition. I mean, I feel like COVID is kind of, like nobody really talks about it anymore. I feel like a lot of things are a lot more lax. So I would assume we would be able to go. Um, so I just need to find out because my mom was asking because she wants to go. So of course, would love for my mom to come. Um, and it's been awesome. My mom's came every single month since Emilio's been born. So it's been really cool to like have her here. We've literally seen her every single month. So, all right, let me put in here for my big box, the 25th. Oh, you know what? Good thing we are almost done because my son is getting over it. He's really good first thing in the morning. Like he actually lets me do things. <laughs> um, and he'll just like chill in his swing and he'll watch Conticos or Baby Shark. And he just like chills. He's not like usually hungry first thing in the morning. Um. So yeah, he'll just chill there and he's like happy and talking and he's just like watching his Canticos or Baby Shark. Um, 
So that is definitely an improvement. But the rest of the day, it's like, nope, you're mine, mother, and you can't do anything else. But oh my God, my baby's gonna be six months old on the 25th. I cannot even believe it. I'm just not ready to like deal with deal with that. I just, I can't. Um, okay, and then the last thing that I wanna mark, or that I have to mark, I still have two bills, but I don't know when they're gonna be due. So, um, they're usually due like around here. So I assume that's when it's gonna be. Um, but anyways, so. It's just the 28th. That is for our bed, actually. Um, we got like a new bed and mattress, and so that is our credit card for that. And that is everything then for this plan with me, which is perfect timing because my battery is flashing, that it is gonna die. I do think I wanna mark those cookie booths because I have the labels. So why the hell not, right? I mean, right? So that's what I think I'm gonna do. And I have Girl Scout stickers for that. So I feel like it works. I'll use the green here. So we have, oh, but see, here's the thing. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to mark cookie booths because literally we do cookie booths every Saturday and Sunday. And so like, look at my Saturdays. My Saturdays are full. So yeah, I marked everything else um, except for two bills because I do not know the due dates yet, but that is gonna be everything for this plan with me. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm obsessed. I realized I did not put February at the top. Oh my God, what an idiot. Did I really forget to do that? I sure as heck did. Aye, aye, aye. Oh well, anyways. I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed anyways. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.